Ever since the fateful day that I decided to learn how to code, you know, it has been an absolute blessing for me because this wee little noggin enjoys to have its creative outlet and I'm not a brilliant artist. I'm not very theatrical, I can't play any musical instruments. However, love building a good project for the internet could be absolutely anything under the sun and programming affords you the opportunity to go absolutely ham and just build to your heart's content. And, you know, at this point I've made things for my own personal pursuits, I've made things for content in the courses, you know, if we're having a course where we're learning a framework, a technology, a programming language, so much better if we're actually building something that's engaging, interesting, exciting, and cool. And it's come to the point where I think I'm just the ultimate tinkerer, where I'm always tinkering away on new projects. However, of everything I've built, I'm still looking for my my ultimate pursuit, my dream project that I'm going to pursue with ultimate vehemency. There's a good word for you. And, you know, until recently, actually, interesting story. So there's three things in life that are defining characteristics of my personality, and they're extraneous things. They're not integral to who I am, but at this point, they're basically just personality traits. One is the gym. I've gone to the gym probably an average of six and a half days a week for eight years. It is at the core of who I am. It's been transformative for me. It's something I'd recommend everybody do, and I love it. You know, instead of paying for therapy, talk about getting some zen and tranquility when you're under extreme physical distress. Uh, at the gym. So it's an absolutely brilliant thing. I always look forward to going to the gym every single day. Number two is World of Warcraft. Would you guess? You know, I absolutely... Let's, let's quantify it. I've played more than 10,000 hours of World of Warcraft. And for context, in a year, you know, there are approximately 8,000... Well, there are 8,760 hours in a year and I'm probably sitting in the in the realm of 12 to 13,000 inside the virtual world of Azeroth so you know in terms of total life four to five percent waking hours nearly seven or eight percent of my sorry six or seven percent of my entire life waking life has been spent inside of this virtual game and I love it wouldn't change it for a for anything it's an absolutely brilliant experience if you aren't subscribed to world of warcraft probably don't because it's a debilitating addiction to have lol number three the answer is in this pen in this shirt blue big fan of the color blue and number four is related to programming it's glowy themes now this is a kind of weird one because everyone's like Surely glowy themes can't be that obsessive for you, but for some reason it's just been a cornerstone of my personality. Surely you get that thing and you're like, this is totally random, but for some reason I'm just going to, you know, evolve my ex entire existence around this one thing. And ever since, you know, my first year of programming was a shocker because everything I developed had these atrocious glowy neon bright dark themed cyan <laughs> shadows and everything they were it was definitely too much i hadn't refined that personality trait at that at that point anyway where i'm going with this is that i have recently found my dream application that i'm going to pursue with ultimate vigor and i thought what could be really cool is having a developer log series on the channel where i share everything I'm doing on the app and the reasons why I'm doing it because I've built so many things I've got so much knowledge as to what should and shouldn't go into building your own applications to make them successful and whatever you know metric quantifies success for you and I can't really share all of that knowledge inside of my learn to code courses because the intention is to teach people how to code not all the intricacies of design and web development as much it's not centric around that. So this course is going to be me talking about features I have built, decisions I have made, implementations I'm going to make, 
uh, and the reasons why I'm doing it, sharing all of these insights so that hopefully you can take away these learnings and apply them in your own projects to your own ultimate successes. So it should be really interesting. Now, without further ado, let me introduce you to a version one of my dream fitness application, the culmination of all of my favorite interests, the application that I'm going to pursue as my ultimate endeavor, Bad Hunter. All right, so to introduce Bad Hunter, let's understand what it's trying to achieve. Essentially, this handsome young fella here is Sung Jin Woo from Solo Leveling, and he gets his hands on the system to develop this physique. Now here is my personal physique progression. This is me when I was a scrawny wee 18 year old. This is after three years of lifting and this is after six years of lifting. And I reckon Sung Jin Woo is smack bang in the middle here. And so what I've done is I've taken his system, which looks a little bit like this inside of the anime, and I have turned it into a feasible app that can help anyone get this physique or bros to get this physique, chicks to get incredible physiques, anyone to get an excellent physique. So here we have the landing screen for Bad Hunter, badhunter.app. You can try it out, it's totally free, it loads of fun. And when I was building the app, I wanted it to do two things. One, I wanted to give the user all the workouts they ever need, and more importantly, I really wanted them to be simple and effective so that even beginners can get started with them. And the second thing I really wanted is to have a quest system because I wanted that gamification. I wanted to bring in elements of questing, adventuring, making it, you know, a, a journey that you go on. And so I really wanted the questing system, and we'll see more about it shortly, to embody all of the things you should do on a daily basis to complement your training so that you can awaken your ultimate form. So essentially we have two plans at the moment. One is for newer or like beginner trainers. All of this is body weight. Uh, and the second one is a legendary plan that has entry requirements. And so I wrote out both plans so I know exactly what content people are going to be following. And one important consideration that I made for the landing page is to keep it simple. You know, I want people to quickly understand what's going on. This is what we're going to be doing. Select the difficulty, enter their player name. So I'm going to be James and accept the quest. Now, in terms of deciding how the application was going to be laid out, obviously our two primary functionalities are the daily quest system and also the workouts. So they exist on separate pages. Now, daily questing is kind of analogous to statistics. For example, we have a level, we have timer, we have gamification features. So I figured that would make the perfect dashboard. So that's what we're looking at just here. Obviously, if you scroll down, you have your pathway or your gateway to the training plans and we'll check that out shortly. But what we can do from the dashboard is accept our daily quest that pulls up a modal where you can check all of these objectives. And as I check them, you can actually see the level adjusting in the background. So completing these daily objectives, things that will enhance your training to make sure you can unlock your ultimate physique. In addition to gaining bonus objectives, depending on whether or not you've completed all the workouts or just the strength workout, will help to level up your character until eventually you're level 100 and you're shredded to the absolute bone. Now, I also wanted the app to be incredibly simple. So as much as it feels like there's a few things going on, at the end of the day, you're just ticking off some habits and you're tracking a level as you continue to do so. Now, one of the features I really wanted to develop to ensure that people stay consistent with the app was a strike and punishment system. And actually, the system does a really good job of this. So in the anime, if Sung Jin Woo doesn't do his daily quest, he is punished. And what Bad Hunter will do is it will accumulate strikes for every day that you fail to participate. And if you reach three strikes, then you receive, you are reprimanded. And so that should encourage people to train daily or as much as possible as long as their recovery zone is good, then they can complete their workouts. Now, the other thing I was really conscious of when designing this app was the actual workout display. At the very core, I wanted it to be simple and obvious. So just here, we can see we're on day one, it's a push workout. All of the information you need is inside of the key information, but that's not there to overwhelm you, hence why it's a closable little box. And then if we scroll down, we just have the workout information right here. So we have some warm-ups and a nice pretty table, and we have the workout. 
Now, all of this is body weight. It's all relatively straightforward. You know, diamond push-ups, bench dips, sets, reps. You track your sets. You can follow the tempo to complete the exercise. And before you know it, you'll be absolutely yoked. And if you wanted more information, you can just click on an exercise. So when you click on an exercise or a warm-up, what it's going to do is give you information about that warm-up. Gotta love the glows. Gotta love the glows. And the pop-up, not only does it show information explaining how the actual exercise is to be performed, but you can also track your sets in here. It also contains the rep information so that you don't just have to stick around on the workout page and constantly open up this window. You could just sit here for your whole set. It shows you how many reps. It shows you what the tempo is meant to be. And then once you've incremented your sets to the maximum number, you can just close that and move on to the next exercise. If you get stuck halfway through an exercise and you have to leave, you can save and exit. And once you have completed all of your sets, you can complete the workout to move on to the next one. And there is loads of them as much as there's only 30 planned workouts once you've completed them you just refresh the plan and it will take you back to the first workout and you can repeat them but it won't take away your level so you can level up as high as you want now the other cool thing i implemented is this tracker and if we zoom in just here you'll see that how high this little percentage bar is is dependent on what percentage of our daily quest we have completed and it also changes color dependent on whether or not you have done the daily workout. So all things considered, the app is cleverly designed so that it's actually really simple. It's basically just a dashboard where you can track your daily quests and a workout page where you can, you know, if you're at the gym, this is the page you'll be on. If you're around the house throughout the day, this is the page you'll be on, completing the quests as you go. This is obviously just the first iteration of the application. I'm so extremely pleased with the design. It's blue, it's got the glow, it's got the gamification. This text right here is uh, called Morpheus from World of Warcraft. So I was so pleased that I could throw that in. And there are loads of cool features yet to come. So if you wanna get fit, make sure to try it out, badhunter.app. And if you have any feedback, you can click on the assistance button and you know get help or share your feedback. I'd love to hear it. And so if you're interested in the developer logs where I'm going to discuss all the features I'm going to implement in future and explain the reasons why I've made these decisions, make sure you smash the like and subscribe button so you can always be notified when those videos come out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you later. Peace. Learning to code? If so, be sure to check out the learn to code roadmap or dive straight in with these videos. That's a good one.